Now, traditionally, a best man's speech is meant to last as long as it takes the groom to make love to his bride on a special wedding night. It's done then. You're done. <laughs> So, for those of you who don't know us, we are sexy, suave, handsome, and tall. Now, enough about me. Um, now, I know what you're all thinking. It's a bit odd to have four best men at a wedding. You'd think after all this time, you'd have picked a favourite, right? No favourites. We'd like to thank all the guests that have come to the wedding, as we know a number of you have come from such places as Wales, Scotland, and even Germany. Sarah. So, <laughs> so it just goes to show how far people are willing to travel just for a free meal. Hi everyone. For those of you who don't know, I'm Gavin, and I am Gary's favourite son, before anyone tells you what it was. Uh, as soon as we accepted the role of best men, we straight away decided to start planning the stag do and we were under strict instructions from the bride to not go to a strip club. And don't worry, I can confirm we were good boys and we didn't. But Dad, just on a completely separate note, you do owe us 200 quid, so we'll sort that out later. <laughs> uh, ever since we were asked, we've been really nervous about this speech. So we spent hours around my house planning it, uh, watching various videos and just trying to calm our nerves. And it worked. But Nobody look at my internet history. You don't want to see that. <laughs> we spent quite a lot of time writing this speech, so if a joke doesn't work, just do what Candice does with Dad and fake it. With your laid back and positive approach to life, you're somebody that many people count themselves lucky to have in their lives, us included. Yeah. Not just because of your willingness to help people, but your fun and light-hearted attitude means you're a great guy to be around, and we're so happy that you found Candice. Oh, no pressure for me then. <laughs> now here we have a loving, caring and beautiful woman. And next to her, we have a handsome, good looking and... Sorry Doug, I can't quite read your writing. <laughs> He's taught us that we should always get our money's worth wherever we go. Whether it be shopping, running your car into the ground, or putting on two stone at a weeks long all inclusive. <laughs> Which is why the food isn't all you can eat here. Since coming into Dad's life, Candace has had to share her, um, his love with many things. His sheds, his crocs, and his sons. In that order. He's taught us some fun facts too. Did you know that 70% of lorry drivers are in fact doggers? Sorry, Dad, you're going to have to give that up now. Despite all that, I'd like to say how lucky my dad is to have Candace. And to Candice, I'd like to say how grateful the women of the world are for taking this bullet by marrying that. <laughs> they can all breathe a huge sigh of relief. <laughs> I do hope that Dad and Candice enjoy their honeymoon in Wales. I assume that's where they're going anyway. When I asked what he was doing for his honeymoon, he said he'd go banger for a fortnight. <laughs> Hello everyone, as most of you will already know, I am Gary's favourite and tallest son. For anyone who doesn't already know, my name is Lewis, what are you drinking? Uh, please come and say hello at the bar later, but I insist you use my full name. Well, as the saying goes, good things come to those who wait. And in true Bartlett time fashion, poor Candice has only had to wait 21 years. <laughs> He might always be late, but he gets there in the end. Dad, you get to leave here today with a beautiful, loving and caring woman as your bride. Yeah. Candice, you get to walk out of here today with a lovely bunch of flowers and a nice new dress. <laughs> yeah. 
So uh, traditionally, part of the best man's speech should be giving advice to the bride and groom on their wedding day. So uh, firstly, always love, always forgive, and never go to bed in an argument. Always stay up and argue. <laughs> Learn to say I'm sorry. That one's just for you, Dad. Um, right, if all the couples in here could turn and gaze into each other's eyes. Yeah, statistically, that's the person most likely to murder you. <laughs> Growing up, um, I'm proud to say Dad's been a huge influence on us. Uh, from his example, we've learned some of the most important things in life, a, a family, honesty, to work hard at everything you do, and to stick to your guns and to never give up. I think the most important advice he gave to us was, don't let the system beat you, and that has always stuck with us. Anyway, enough about the old man. What can I say about our stepmum, Candice? <laughs> There's a lot of things we love about Candice. She is one of the most caring women we have ever met. She always means well and will literally do anything to help anyone. She is a fantastic nanny to all of her grandchildren and they all love spending time with her. However, more than anything, our most favorite thing about Candice is her crazy little inventions. From cat litter in ploy tins all around my brother's flat to drinking water upside down on the sofa and pouring it all over her head to show us how to cure hiccups. <laughs> I'm thrilled to officially be able to call Richard my older brother. And I look forward to palming off any oldest brother responsibilities to him. I know I can speak for all of my brothers as well when I say that we are honoured to be such a huge part of your special day. Thank you. Without any further ado, could I please ask you all to be upstanding for the bride and groom, no. Mr. and Mrs. Bartlett. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers.